What's going on, traders, and welcome to this week's episode of the Weekly Watchlist. In the Weekly Watchlist, I do a technical analysis and give you some of my thoughts on the tickers up here on the left. We have the broad market comprised of SPY, the Qs, and IWM. After that, we look at some companies. It's going to be Apple, Netflix, Tesla, Alibaba, Facebook, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Amazon. Real quick, if you're interested in receiving 5 to 10 swing trade ideas per week, then go ahead and sign up for the free newsletter at the first link in the description. Those go out every Sunday to give you an edge for the week ahead. Also, we're on Instagram if you want to check us out there. It's at tradebrigade.co. And if you're interested in chatting with myself and other traders in real time during market hours, then go ahead and join the Discord chat. We'd love to see you in there. Jumping right into our SPY weekly chart, you can see that the bar that printed this week is a bullish green bar with solid green volume to support it. Coming out of the holiday weeks, uh, it's no surprise that we did see an increase in volume. Uh, we put in a new all-time high, so that is marked off at 327.46. And just a brief note about the nature of this candle. Obviously, it's green and closing up here at the highs. I would say that this indicates to me that we will see some continuation early into next week, if not some sideways consolidation, but it doesn't really look like the market's going to do some nasty 180 and do have a huge pullback. I think we sort of saw that with the Middle East news overnight on the 7th, um, and the market has recovered nicely since then. So let's drill down to the daily. So moving into the daily, you can see obviously we had a gap up on Friday and then filled that gap and continued a little bit lower there in the afternoon on the Friday session. Uh, I think that a solid place for some support to come into play is at our level here at 324.82. So 325 just about if you want to play a round number uh, or just keep a heads up around that level. That is a previous high here that we are looking at. We really want to see prices maintain sort of in this zone if we want to see a higher um higher lows continue to form anything over our all-time high is going to be uh, blue sky territory in which case we're playing whole and half dollar resistance as well as any key levels that form intraday so keep that in mind should we see the breakout and we are prepared for a pullback again wanting to see this hold i really don't want to see anything lower than this key level in here at 320 24 this is sort of where we had touch one two three anything lower than this and it looks like you know there's a risk to be putting in a lower low instead of higher lows and stair stepping in the upwards direction so the cues, in my opinion, are slightly more bullish. We see more of an upward trajectory here. Obviously, a new all-time high on Friday at the open. That's 219.87. Again, whole and half dollar and intraday levels that form as we head into blue sky territories above that level. A good place for this one to pull back. The cues would be to this level here at 216.16. Again, that's where we want to see those higher low sets continue to be put in, and then a higher high would have to follow that to maintain this uptrend. Uh, anything lower, if we did see a breakdown of this 216.16, then we're looking at support to come into play. Really our next key one, this could be a support intraday around 214.56, but our next key, key support should we see a major move to the downside is this one here at 211.35. And as we've been doing recently, leaving IWM slightly zoomed out so you can see where we sit relative to our all-time high up here at 173.39. So we're definitely over that 50% retracement mark. That's sort of marked off by this thick resistance zone that we're finally breaking out of. Uh, if we zoom in a bit, you can see here that IWM looks like it's really just consolidating a bit more. We see more of a balance area here in this portion of the small caps than we do on the Qs and SPY. So what we really wanna see is a breakout over uh, a resistance trend line that we can draw in that looks something like this. If we connect our highs here and here, come on, there we go. So anything over that resistance white dotted trend line, and we're targeting the recent swing high over here, which is at 167.09. If we can get above that after we breach this dotted line and this one, we're targeting 170, which is our next resistance overhead. Uh, and we really want to see this level sort of act as consolidation support as we've seen it do now for a couple times. So support, support, support here, uh, slightly break down below. But one thing we do want to keep an eye on is for a fake break out of it, in which case we're looking for this level really, 163.67, sort of where we had this double bottom uh, to act as a last, last ditch effort support. Should that one give, we are prepared though, and we're looking at this one here at 162.33 to act as support. 50 SMA is going to start to coincide with that. So look for a super support to form if we do get down into it. Uh, and if that gives, however, again, we have a gap fill to figure out sort of all the way down here. And that's happening at the high of this candle, which is 161.65. 
All right, guys, if you're enjoying the analysis so far, be sure to leave the video a thumbs up and let me know down below that you are enjoying it. I genuinely would appreciate it, and I think the YouTube algorithm does as well. I think in the last video we got 30 likes on the video, so let's try for 35 this time around, and let's hop right into Apple. So Apple on Friday put in an indecision candle up here at the new all-time high, which is at 312.67. If we break out over that, we're looking for whole and half dollars into blue sky territories as well as any intraday levels that do form. We had a gap up on Thursday, which left a gap in the chart. So the gap closes here at the high of this candle at 304.44. Apple does have a sort of reoccurring pattern that's been happening where we have some days of consolidation, a breakout and move higher, consolidation again, breakout move higher. So this is what we like to call flagging. I wouldn't be surprised to see Apple do some consolidation and sort of flag one more time. Boom, breakout into new uh, blue sky territories one more time before we see earnings, which are post market here on the 28th of January. So keep that in mind. This should add some volatility to the market and leave a nice gap somewhere. What direction? No one really knows, but some added volatility to Apple is always good. Makes for good trading action. Support below us comes into play right around $300, which is where we had multiple touches here in the past. Should we see anything lower than that? It's going to be 293.85. We really don't want to see Apple get much lower than that if we're looking to play from the long side, but we could buy some puts if we break down below this one, targeting our next support down here at 282.65. So Netflix is an interesting one here just because we did break out over our resistance level. We had a nice green day here bouncing right around the 200 SMA and our previous support from this level here at 321.21. So seeing this nice move up and breaching that resistance, but now we are running into our next level here, which is at 338.12. We are below it now, seeing some nice red days here, picking up some puts to play this action. Uh, but right now what we're looking for is either a triple bottom or a move back down to the 200 SMA and this 321 level. If that gives and we see a move lower, we're looking to first see a first touch uh, sort of dead cap bounce, if you will, to happen around 316.16. Then we're targeting our 50 SMA, this blue line here, which should be catching up to that level uh, as the week progresses forward. Anything to the upside miraculously after these two red nasty days, and we're looking to target first this resistance here at 338, obviously, anything after that, and we do have some slight resistance that looks like around this level here at 343.03. Higher than that, though, should we see a breakout, and we're really targeting 361.79, and I wouldn't be surprised to see or think of this more as just a consolidation period after a nice move in the upwards direction. Again, looks like the market sort of wants to consolidate and keep pushing higher, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Netflix do that as well. Again, earnings come on, on the 21st, and they look like they are post-market similarly to Apple, so should add some volatility, some juice to the market one way or another. We're going to trade it to the upside or downside. Tesla has been the talk of the town for the past couple months, really. Um, after this huge gap up on earnings, it's really just taken off like a rocket ship, no pun intended there. Uh, but we haven't quite come all the way to the $500 level yet. It seems like a nice sentimental and uh, psychological area of resistance. So we're just below it with a new all-time high up here on Thursday at 298.80. So we'll mark something up there. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see it come to the $500 mark after a nice little consolidation period here and pullback. It really needs to do that after it's been on such a parabolic move to the upside. So we're targeting this sort of area as a really deep pullback. That's going to be at 454. Uh, right now, it does look like we're starting to base off and see some price consolidation uh, support happening right around 473.74 based on the close or open of this candle, low low, so on and so forth. So if that breaks, then we're targeting the 254. But right now, if we see this hold, we would look to retarget the all-time high and potentially $500 whole dollar mark on the upside. BABA seeing a little indecision just like Apple, so we'll mark in a new all-time high resistance. That's going to be up here right around 225.96. 226 if you want to just play a nice round number there. Uh, any sort of pullbacks, and we're looking for 219.82 to 218 hold up as sort of a support zone. You can see that's where we had some resistance in the past. When resistance is broken, it turns into support, so that's why we're targeting that on a pullback. Anything lower than that, and we're really looking at 213.14. To the upside, we're playing blue sky territory, so as always, whole and half dollars, as well as any intraday levels that do form. So Facebook is finally starting to break out one way uh, to the upside, actually, of our rising wedge. So we did see a fake breakdown here in the past. So let's see if this is a fake out to the upside. 
We're seeing some resistance coming into play right around 218, which is what we sort of expected based on this historic uh, resistance level. We went just above it to 220 just about. I wouldn't be surprised to see a pullback here into this uh, trend line. That seems like a very valuable option considering what's happened in the past where you see a breakdown and move back into the trend line. So if we see a break, fake breakout, move back down into the trend line, it should act as support. Anything lower than that, and we're really looking at 210, you can see that's previous resistance should act as support. Anything lower than that, and it sort of gets really choppy and muddy in this area. So I wouldn't be surprised to see it just sort of chop around and go sideways should we get back down into these levels. But ultimately, the last ditch and area we really don't want to see it go lower than if we want to maintain this uptrend is 203.42 marked off as resistance, 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 so forth, and then support, 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 confirmation, and go. So again, anything to the upside, hole in half dollars into blue sky territories, and our pullbacks are noted for us. One last thing on Facebook is we do have earnings happening on the 29th after the market closes. We did see the breakout finally of the bullish flag pattern on NVIDIA. However, it's been mostly on gap ups and then pullbacks throughout the rest of the day, as you can see here by the red on Thursday and Friday. No surprise seeing resistance up here right around 249, the whole dollar mark, which we had marked in from previous uh, historic levels. If we see some consolidation and sideways action underneath this level and then a breakout, our next target and resistance level is up here at 266.50. That's something to keep in mind should the market continue to push forward and NVIDIA follow as well. Again, it does look like we want to see some consolidation based on the fact that we see some red indecision and then a pullback and sort of sell off most of the day here on Friday. Uh, earnings are a little bit further away happening on February 13th. Something to keep in mind should cause some volatility leading up into it. Any sort of pullback and we want to see sort of this level and this high maintain as support. As you can see, boom, touch, 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 touch. Really maintaining that as support would confirm that this is going to be another flagging pattern where we see some consolidation and another push up. Should we breach it, we're really looking to come back down into some of these lows, which are right around 231.15, and then this sort of previous uh, area of resistance, which should act as support from the top side at 228.85. Microsoft sort of having similar uh, Thursday, Fridays, as did NVIDIA. Uh, maybe the whole tech sector looks like this, but we are seeing some sell-off, which to me would imply that we want to see a little bit more consolidation where we are uh, and really maintaining above this sort of support level that we're now above. So that's at 160.69. If we break out over our new all-time high here at 163.22, then we're looking to play whole and half dollars into blue sky territories as well as any intraday levels that do form. Any major pullbacks, and this is our key support, as you can see by all these touches and where we sort of originated this bounce from, that's at 157.11. Again, earnings a little bit further away happening here after market close on the 29th. And lastly, Amazon. You can see this $1,900 mark has acted as sort of a magnet. Price really just wants to hover around it until we figure out what's exactly going to happen. New resistance is slightly above. You can see that's at 1916 and then new support sort of happening slightly below. We'll call it somewhere in here at 1887 just based on this low. It's, we breached it here on today, uh, but if we look back in the past, you can see it's right where we closed here, resistance, resistance. So now that we're above it, it should act as support, but we're slightly below it, so I take back what I just said. Um, anything lower than this, and we're really looking at our next key structural level, which happens right around here at 1850. That will act as support as we come and see it from the top side. I'm not sure how the channel top will sort of react, so we'll test that out and sort of keep an eye on it throughout the week should we come back down into it. Again, earnings a little bit further out on this one happening on the 30th after the market closes. That should add some serious volatility to the Amazon. You can see we had a ripper of the day here uh, last time we had earnings and gap down hard. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see another sort of major movement. Anything over this 1916 level, and we are targeting 1950 as previous resistance here. And if we get any higher than that, then there's the chance that the gap fills to the low of this candle, which is at 1972.72. Alrighty, guys, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of the Weekly Watch List. If you enjoyed the video, again, leave it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments section. And as always, I wish you a green trading week.